Hey guys, it's Lane and Blake with Refine Horizons, and I'm creating this video for Aaliyah. She's our new content marketing specialist, and uh, I'm just going to do a couple videos that show her how to use WordPress. You can probably hear my wife talking in the background about how she got to dance all night because <laughs> she's loud. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so. <clears throat> I'm logged into WordPress here. This is on our main website, uh, redefinehorizons.com. And so this is what you see when you log in. You'll see this, uh, this is called the dashboard. And for those of you that don't know, WordPress is a, a piece of software, it's called the Content Management System, that sits on a website. And what it basically does is it takes content out of a database, so like text and images, and presents it styles it with the theme and presents it. That's basically what it does. Okay, but don't be scared if that sounds super technical because it's really easy to use. Uh, I'm a big fan of WordPress. For a few years, I would just hand code all my websites with HTML and CSS and uh, JavaScript, and you can do that, but oh, WordPress makes it so much easier. So, you know, I'm, I'm not primarily a web, web developer. I'm a business owner. So I need something that makes this relatively easy, but WordPress, so WordPress makes it easy, but it's got lots of flexibility and there's all kinds of plugins and, and themes that you can buy for it to, to fine tune it, you know, to meet your needs. So in this video, this will be a short video. I'm just gonna, we're gonna show you how to create a new page and then we'll do a separate video that shows you how to make a new post. Okay, so when you log into WordPress over here on the dashboard down here on the left side is kind of your menu and right here is pages. Okay. So there's a shortcut here if you just want to add a new page, but I'm going to go ahead and go to the All Pages page. Okay, so this gives you a list of all the pages in alphabetical order on the website. It tells you who authored them, when they were published. There's some information here about SEO. This comes from a plugin. So don't worry about this, these, these columns over here. Uh, so you can see it just gives you the title and then it gives you some options. You can edit or move the page to the trash do some other, you know, a couple other things here. Okay, but right up here is a button called Add New. We just want to hit that and add a new page. Okay, and this is going to take you into the WordPress editor. Okay, so we're moving out of the dashboard now into the editor. And the editor is going to look fairly sim similar uh, whenever you're creating content on the site. So uh, this is the main editor here, and I'll show you. They've got these things now called blocks, which are cool. You used to have a have to have a separate kind of page builder plugin to use blocks, but now they're built into WordPress. This information here allows you to to set your content up for rich snippets if it's supported. So if it's one of these types, we'll look at that in a minute. And then this this bottom section here is just the WordPress, uh, the Yoast SEO plugin for WordPress, and we'll, we're going to use both of these. We'll fill these out. And then over here, you just have, this is kind of like a properties pane or dialog. So when you select stuff, it'll give you, um, it'll give you uh, the ability to, to configure properties of whatever block you're using, or, or here's the properties of the page. We'll look at that in a minute too. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a title. So, uh, We're going to add a new page, so we're going to call it UAV Mapping and Asset Inspection Services. Okay, that's the title of the page. Okay, and then down here I could choose a block, right? So I could add a heading or a paragraph. So let's just add a heading, and we can we'll just say about our UAV Mapping and Asset Inspection Services. Okay, and then we'll add another block here. We're just gonna add a paragraph. Okay, so we're gonna say placeholder text here. Okay, then we're gonna add a list, just so you guys can see. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna put in a list. And this is gonna be UAV mapping service one, UAV mapping service two. So we'll put in the list of services, okay. Okay, then we'll do a new heading. We'll say, uh, why choose RH for mapping asset 
set inspection. Let's say Azure. Okay. So then we're just going to add. So the default blocks of paragraphs, you can just start stop typing. Placeholder. And okay, then we're going to add a, uh, we want to add a fact, frequently asked questions. So I'm going to go ahead and do a heading. Let's say frequently questions about and asset inspection. Okay. Now we, we, we're going to have some special blocks here. So we're actually going to look for a fact block. So Yoast has this, a Yoast plugin gives you this special uh, block that lets you um, that lets you uh, create a fact that that'll help the site the page rank at Google. So we're going to just add some questions here. Um, is, uh, is UAV mapping a good so uh, a good UAV mapping right tool for my project and then we'll say placeholder text go up here okay and then we can add another one okay so we're going to say what type of UAV should my service provider be flying for my project okay placeholder text Okay, we'll add one more. This is this example content. So we're just kind of shelling out the, the page here. How big of a project site can you fly with a UAV? Okay. All right, so we've got our basic page content here. I'm gonna go ahead and just save a draft. Okay, then we're going to go in and we're going to fill out some of this other information. So right here we're going to say, what is this post about? It's about a service. Okay, so we're going to fill out the rich snippet because it's in this list here. Okay, we don't have an image yet. We'll probably get one. I'm going to put professional consulting on there. Where we serve Central California and Western Nevada. Short description. Um, say Refine Horizons provides. UV mapping and UV asset inspection services. We have several FAA Part 107 certified remote pilots on our team. Okay. Provider name, Refine Horizons, location, we'll put in the address. Okay. So that, that just fills out the the information needed for the rich snippet. Okay, then down here we're going to come down. We're going to come down and do fill out our Yoast SEO. It wants a key phrase that the, the page is focused on. So we're going to say UAV mapping and asset inspection will be our key phrase. Okay, and then um, this is the little uh, preview that shows up in search results. So we're going to customize that. So it's right down here. Um, so we're going to say redefined horizons provides UAV mapping and UAV asset inspection services throughout Central California and Western Nevada. Okay, so you want to type until the bar goes green, but not beyond that. Okay. All right, it's got a sad face here an angry face, sad face, whatever you want to call it, because I, I don't have a lot of content in here. So it's telling me, hey, you're not doing a great job on your page. Yep, I know that. We'll come back and flesh out this content. Okay, so that takes care of the rich snippet and the Yoast SEO. Um, I don't think we want to, we don't want to click this. We'll probably come back and mark this as cornerstone content later after we get the page filled out. Okay, so then we're going to come over here and fill out just some properties on the page itself. Okay, so I'm going to leave myself as the author. 
Okay, what we want to do is uh, we want to come down here to where it, so we're not going to set a featured image yet. We, we may do that later. Okay, but we're going to set the parent page. So we want to make this a, uh, we want to make services the parent page and that's going to help make sure the page displays in the, under the right menu on the website, some other things. Okay, and that's basically it. So we're going to go ahead and publish now. It says, uh, are you sure you really want to do that? Yeah. We want to, so we'll hit the button again. Okay, now right up here, it'll pop up this thing. It says page published, and I'm going to open this view page in a new tab, so we can go take a look at our page now. When you're looking at at the page in the block editor, it's just it's not styled with with our colors or fonts, okay? Because we're just putting the content into the database here. But when you pull up the preview, you'll see that WordPress has used the theme. Um, it has used the theme to style our content. And we need some images in here. This is kind of a, it's kind of a rough looking page with no images. So we'll get some images in here, but here's the content that we, that we provided. And then we've got this little plugin that lets people, uh, you know, you can quickly share this on uh, social media if you want. I'm trying to make that easy for folks. Okay, so that's how you add a page. Pretty simple. Uh, adding a post is, a, it might even be easier to add a post. So we'll, we'll look at uh, how to add a post in an 